Well, I, I would go to something Janet said. She said, first of all, you don't learn from eight to two, and you don't learn within the confines of a classroom. And uh, sometimes getting students into a different environment um, is really important. I, I find, for instance, that getting my students to do simulations where they actually pretend to be the Russian foreign minister. They do more reading and more work than I could ever get them to do by just doing. Going to a museum and learning in that context gives you a whole new way of seeing the world and of learning. And who knows what you might stimulate in that kid that actually becomes a pathway to greater excellence. And so uh, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the way that museums are very often uh, engaged in the curriculum. I think, I hope it will be more so. Uh, and I hope that museums will be supported. Uh, you know, a lot of places are having trouble supporting uh, their museums. Um, and I don't mean just high quality art museums, I mean museums of natural history and, and, uh, and the like, because they are treasures and communities need to support them. One way I think to get the communities to support them is that they become really centers of learning for kids as well. So thank you for what you do, it's, uh, it's really great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and I would, I, I would say that uh, museums uh, kind of exemplify uh, the educational resources we have outside the classrooms in, in the United States. And we have a very vibrant museum uh, uh, presence um, and uh, an incredible variety of museums. So I think that linkage uh, between uh, museums and museum programming uh, with schools and with school curricula is something that uh, should be fostered.